Hey, Zeus Franco, also known as Jess Franco, is a cult filmmaker who has left an indelible mark on the world of genre cinema. With a career spanning over five decades, Franco directed more than 200 films, dabbling in horror, erotica, exploitation, and surrealism. His films, while divisive, are beloved by fans who appreciate their unique mix of sleaze, artistry, and audacity. Based on insights from Reddit, IMDb, YouTube comments, and other online sources, here's a countdown of the top 10 Jess Franco films, from worst to best. 10. Macumba Sexual, 1983 Let's start with an exotic cocktail of erotic horror and mysticism. This sun-drenched nightmare features a plot that's as slippery as its characters, focusing on voodoo rituals and steamy encounters in the Canary Islands. Fans on Korra appreciate the dreamlike quality, though many agree it's not for the Franco newbie. 9. The Awful Dr. Orloff, 1962 Franco's breakthrough horror film follows a surgeon who kidnaps women to restore his disfigured daughter's beauty. While tame compared to his later work, Dr. Orloff showcases his gothic influences and sharp black-and-white cinematography. Redditors often call it Franco-lite, but it's undeniably important in his oeuvre. 8. Vampiros Lesbos, 1971 This trippy lesbian vampire tale is one of Franco's most recognized works. Featuring Soledad Miranda as the seductive Countess Nadine, it blends a groovy score, surreal visuals, and softcore vibes. IMDb reviewers describe it as psychedelic gothic, though some find its pacing glacial. 7. Eugenie The Story of Her Journey into Perversion, 1970 Based on a novella by the Marquis de Sade, this film dives deep into Franco's love of taboo themes. Eugenie's descent into sadistic pleasures is disturbing, beautiful, and provocatively shot. YouTube commenters admire its blend of art and sleaze, even if the content makes some viewers squirm. 6. The Diabolical Dr. Z, 1966 This criminally underrated sci-fi horror focuses on a female scientist seeking revenge after her father's death. The stylish visuals and Hitchcockian suspense make it one of Franco's most accessible films. Tumblr cinephiles adore the film's campy charm and feminist undertones. 5. She Killed in Ecstasy, 1971 Starring the enigmatic Soledad Miranda, this film is a tale of bloody revenge and erotic allure. Miranda plays a widow avenging her husband's death by seducing and killing those responsible. Reddit users rank it high for its haunting atmosphere and Miranda's captivating performance. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subscribing and clicking the bell. 4. The Bloody Judge, 1970 A historical horror drama starring Christopher Lee as a sadistic judge during the English witch hunts. With more polish than Franco's usual fare, the bloody judge mixes political commentary with grisly torture scenes. IMDb fans appreciate Lee's gravitas, calling it a Jesus Franco epic. 3. Succubus, 1968 This surreal erotic horror piece is quintessential Franco, confusing yet captivating. It tells the story of a nightclub performer whose erotic fantasies begin to blur with reality. Tumblr fans describe it as pure Franco fever dream, making it a must-watch for his hardcore admirers. 2. Venus in Furs, 1969 A jazz-infused mystery about a trumpeter haunted by the image of a woman he once saw dead, Venus in Furs is Franco at his most poetic. The film's lush visuals and haunting score earn praise from YouTube and Quora users, who call it Franco's arthouse masterpiece. One Female Vampire, 1973 Topping the list is this infamous erotic horror classic starring Lena Rome in her most iconic role. As a mute vampire, Rome exudes raw sensuality in a film that is equal parts exploitative and hauntingly beautiful. Redditors consider it the epitome of Franco's style, making it the ultimate representation of his unique cinematic world. Final Thoughts Hey Zeus Franco's films are not for everyone. His low budgets, unconventional narratives, and fixation on erotica can be alienating, but for those who get it, his work is a treasure trove of unapologetic creativity. Whether you're a seasoned fan or new to Franco's madness, 
This list offers a guide to his most iconic films. What's your favorite Jesus Franco film? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more cult cinema explorations. Who's your daddy?